recently noticed that there are some big changes happening. The YMCA planning to build a brand new $30 million facility and apartment complex as well. That's a lot going on, right? So our Kelly Harbor joins us now to talk about the progress, what all is involved. People are certainly going to notice this build over here. Kelly, good morning. Sure are, and Matt, that AC Lewis location is now 60 years old, and officials say it's time for it to be replaced so that it can serve the community for the next 50 to 60 years. So we're taking a look at video now of what the area looks like over there. So you can see the parking lot is torn up, and uh, we're told the entire property is going to be raised within the next few weeks. A brand new YMCA will be built on the property closer to South Foster Drive, and behind it will be 100 apartments. The president and CEO of the YMCA in Baton Rouge says this is all in an effort to create affordable housing for people entering the workforce. 51% of the apartments are going to be for people who are at 80% of the median average income. Median average income in Baton Rouge is roughly around the mid 80s. So you're looking at people in that probably that 50 to $65,000 range. So we articulate that as school teachers, uh, policemen, firemen, news reporters, you know, YMCA staff that are entering the workforce, um, people who are just, you know, new professionals, uh, new full time employees in their career that really want a quality place to live. No word yet on how much rent will be, but he says this is all made possible through a partnership between the YMCA, the Office of Community Development, and Bearing Point Properties. We'll get into all of uh, who's operating all of this and what the new facility is going to look like coming up in 30 minutes. Matt. Thank you, man.